even tweeted that you think he's like a dictator. What's your response to critics of that statement, that type of rhetoric? They think it goes too far. Not at all. Growing up in Miami and having you know neighbors that were Cubans, growing up with hearing the stories of so many of our Floridians who have left uh, dictatorships and communism and socialist countries and coming here to the state of Florida for capitalism, for uh, open opportunities to succeed. He is doing everything possible to take away power from local governments, taking away people's abilities to protest, making it harder to vote, talking about, you know, banning books. Um, that's what dictators do. Um, instead of listening and trying to govern with the people, he's trying to govern over the people. And, you know, that I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm a, a student of history, too. I saw the rise of Hitler. I, I learned of those stories. Are you uh, comparing DeSantis to Hitler? In a lot of ways, yes. I have studied Hitler and how he got to power, you know, wanting his own militia uh, and, and having his own. There are other states that have one. Absolutely. But the reason why this governor wants it is different than the other states that have been utilizing it for emergency purposes. This governor is doing it for the sole purposes of power and in doing so to make fear and to instill that, to blame people for what is happening in their lives, blaming certain parts of our society and our culture. And, and that's exactly what, what Hitler did uh, to the Jews back you know, during um, World War II. What would you say to those who find this comparison offensive, the whole idea of Godwin's law, that once you compare something to Hitler or the Nazis, you've lost the plot? Not at all. I mean, look, you know, it, do I think that we're going to get to the extent of, of, of Hitler's power? Of course not. But the rise of his power and what he did to scapegoat certain parts, and especially the Jewish community in, in Germany, and how he utilized um, taking, going after the media, going after and, and scapegoating people and blaming people and, and pe putting fear and then taking over the military – that's what this governor is doing. And and when, especially going back to all of my you know friends that from the Latin American countries who've left here for freedom, um, that is not what this governor is doing.